Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you my exact system for how I manage to maintain a very high level of productivity. You know, if you've been listening to my recent videos, I've been talking about how you're probably not as strong as you think you are, and you're definitely not as strong as you wish you were, and uh, um, instead of just kind of doing the same thing over and over again, expecting that maybe you're going to be better next time, you should recognize your weaknesses and learn to work around them. So maybe you don't have a lot of willpower, maybe you're not so disciplined, maybe you tend to forget things, like you have a great idea and then the next day you totally forgot about it. Maybe you get distracted, maybe you can't stay organized, uh, maybe, maybe you have a project that you want to fulfill but you don't really know where to start. Well, I'm going to show you a system that, that I use that helps me to recognize those weaknesses within myself and actually be successful despite them, to actually stay productive despite all those weaknesses. So I'm going to show you my full system in detail. I recommend you watch this video till the end. Uh, there's going to be a lot of value in here. And even if you don't follow my system exactly, you know, I recognize that different people have different circumstances, different kind of work they're doing. That The same system doesn't work exactly for everybody, but I can guarantee you that you'll at least get one or two tips from this that will boost your creativity significantly and therefore change your life. So I'm pretty excited to share this with you. I think it's going to do you a lot of good. Okay, now this system is based on a framework called Getting Things Done, which I know I've mentioned in the past briefly, but uh, Getting Things Done was is a productivity system that was created by a guy who basically made this his whole life's focus to figure out like how the human mind worked with regards to, to productivity and how to maximize the productivity that you can possibly have. So uh, I got it from a book that's called Getting Things Done. I'm all about the framework that's called Getting Things Done. Not a very creative name, I know. But anyway, so that's just the framework. I'm going to show you the actual specifics of how I implement the framework. Now, I recommend you use this for both your business and your personal life because you are the person who has to do all of this stuff. You have to juggle your business and your personal life. So if you put it into the same system, it just makes life easier because you have one reference point for everything. Now, there are three tools that I use for this system. The first is the calendar in my phone. The second is a workbook that I put in a Word document. And the third is this app called Remember the Milk, and that's what you see in front of you right here, rememberthemilk.com. And there's also a phone app that goes with it, and I use it both on my computer and on my phone. I use, on, I use it mainly on my computer, but I also have it on my phone because if I have an idea when I'm not beside my computer, then I can just pull out my phone put in the idea in my phone. And then uh, this is hosted on the cloud, right? So if I put it in my phone, it'll show up on my computer. If I put it in my computer, it'll show up on my phone. Now, most of this system is going to be hosted in this Remember the Milk app. That's going to be most of the video. So uh, I'll talk about the other two tools first because they're pretty quick and easy. The first is the calendar in my phone. On the calendar in my phone, I put anything that I need to remember at a specific time. So, if I have a doctor's appointment at 3 o'clock, then uh, I'm going to put that in my phone. I'm going to put, you know, when I schedule the appointment, I'm going to put that in my phone because I need to know that at 3 o'clock or shortly before 3 o'clock. So, if it takes me, you know, 5 minutes to get ready and 10 minutes to drive to the doctor's office, then I'm going to put it in my phone with a reminder for 15 minutes before or maybe a little bit more. So, anything that you have to know at a specific time, put in your, your calendar. It's going to be with you all the time. And then you can also put it in the Remember the Milk app. I do that sometimes, especially if it's something that's really important, like something I want to remind myself of in the morning, and then I also want to remind myself of uh, later in the day when it's going to actually happen. So that's what I do with my phone app. The next part is this Word document, which this is a system that I got from a program called the Success Operating System, created by Myron Golden, which is an awesome program. Um, and one thing that I got from it that I, I liked especially was to keep this daily workbook, which I'll show you here. I just, uh, I just keep it in Microsoft Word. Probably there's a better app for this somewhere. I don't know, but Word is easy and it works. So um, I put the day's date. I do this at the end of every workday. I put the day's date. I put a section of million dollar ideas. So any great ideas that I had that day, I will write down in this workbook. And as you can see, uh, I'm, I'm looking at yesterday right now, and I didn't have any great ideas, and, and um, you won't have great ideas every day. I mean, if I go back a little bit, I had, okay, if I go back to 1028, then I had a, I had an idea. Um, 
And some days I have more ideas, etc. You just want to have this available for when you do have ideas. And there's a few reasons for that. One is that uh, it gets you in the habit of having ideas. Two, it gets you in the habit of writing down your ideas when you have them. And three, you can go back and see all the cool ideas that you had because chances are when you have an idea, you're not going to implement right away, right? I mean, hopefully you do sometimes because speed of implementation is huge, but chances are you have a lot of ideas. And the more you do this, by the way, the more ideas you're going to have, right? If you get in the habit of writing down ideas, then your brain will get more into that, that state where it comes up with good ideas. So write down ideas when you have them and then you can go back and, and see all the great ideas that you had. So maybe you don't have time to get to your idea right now because you got too much on your plate, but maybe next week you do. Well, now you have it written down. Okay, so next section is your three greatest successes for the day. So this is whatever the, whatever the things that you're most proud of accomplishing that day. And this is awesome because for one thing, uh, you start to get into this habit where you recognize that at the end of the day, you're going to hold yourself accountable. You are going to have to say uh, what you accomplished that day. And if the, the three greatest successes of that day were brushed your teeth and ate breakfast and watched TV, right? You're going to, you're going to feel kind of bad about yourself when you feel that, when you fill this out. So this kind of prompts you to do the things that you need to do. And secondly, when you do have a productive day, it gives you a little reward at the end of the day. You remember, oh, I really did get that big project done. You know, I've, I've made so much progress. And then if you, if you go look back through this, you look through your three greatest successes for the last week or the last month, you start to realize the amazing amount of progress that you're making. And you will make an amazing amount of progress if you're following this system, I promise you. And then the last section is what I desire to get done tomorrow. So. On this one, I just put like the few things that are most important to me. So again, I wrote this last night. One of them is publish a YouTube video. And in order to publish a YouTube video, I have to record a YouTube video. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then a few other things. Probably there's a lot of things that I want to get done, but I just want to list a few that are the most important to me. Now, the reason that I do this is because when I'm at the end of my work day, my mind is very well focused on what I need to be doing. However, when I wake up the next morning, my mind's not focused at all. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. So the easiest thing to do to, uh, because you know, at the end of the day, I'm in the proactive state, like I've explained in, in earlier videos. And then the next morning I'm, I'm in a reactive state. So I can react instead of reacting to Facebook or Instagram or my text messages or, you know, whatever is not going to serve me, I can react to what I've written here. I can say, okay, you know, I don't really remember what it is that I need to do, do today. So I go over here and I say, okay, I need to do a YouTube video. So doing this at the end of the day uh, will ensure that you have a much better day tomorrow. And then if it's a Friday, I like to do it as a weekly thing instead of a daily thing. So if I do this on a Friday and I work a, like a five day work week, Monday to Friday, you know, I, I don't have a job, but I, I keep to that just because it gives me some structure and it kind of forces me to take a rest for the weekend because I, I don't believe that working seven day weeks is, is good for your health or good for your productivity because you burn yourself out. So I try to take a couple days for myself. And then at the end of a Friday, I will say, instead of what I desire to get done tomorrow, I will say what I desire to get done next week. And so there I'll have like bigger, broader projects, right? Because now I'm talking about the whole week instead of just a day. Okay, so that's everything for the workbook. Uh, now let's go to the meat of this, which is remember the milk. Now, as I said, I have this both on my computer and on my phone. Now, basically the way that this program works is it's just a whole big organization of lists. and if you see uh, in this pane, these are all of the lists that I have. It's this one specifically. So I have, um, I, I won't tell you what all of those are because you know, I'd be spending all day. And then you can put dates on whenever everything's supposed to get done. So the main screen that I stay on is, is this today screen. So this is everything that I have done that I have put a due date of today. And so, some of those will be parts of projects that I want to get done. 
And some of those will be things that I just want to remind myself of. Maybe there's something I want to remind myself of every day or something I want to remind myself of every week, such as uh, review LinkedIn here, right? I don't use LinkedIn very much, so I give myself a reminder to do it once a week to review my LinkedIn so that I'm not missing anybody's messages and not making anybody mad, that kind of thing. So um, that's one thing that's, that's weekly. And then... Uh, Virtual Millionaire, that's a, a meeting that I do, like a live meeting that I attend on Facebook. That's every Tuesday at 9 p.m. So I put every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Um, meditate, that's something I, I try to do every single day. So I have it repeat and tell me every single day. And once I do it, I go ahead and check it off and then it disappears. And then tomorrow, I, uh, it, it will come back again, right? Because it's a daily thing. Now, the way that I organize all my tasks are into what are called projects, and each project gets its own list. So, these are all my projects. And if I go, uh, if I go into a, a project here, a project is something that you desire to get done. And you want to make your projects pretty specific. So, if you have something that you're working towards um, that probably involves multiple steps, you make a list called a project and put all the steps under that project. And you don't even need to list out all the steps, but when you make a project, at least list the first step that you can get done at any time. So go through all my copy and redo using checklists, for example, is a step that I want to get done in this project. So I have, I have some tags on these. Now everything is going to have tags. This gets a little bit complicated, so bear with me. Um, I have tags based on in what context I want to have it done. So that's what that at computer is. It means in order to do this, I need to be at my computer. And then I have other tags such as at errand. So if it's something that I need to go out of my house to do, I put it as an errand. So uh, it organizes it because then I can just go down here and say um, errand. And then if I'm, if I'm leaving my house and I need to know what I need to do when I leave my house, I know I have to buy an air filter, and that's the only thing I have at the moment. And then I also have at home, so something I can do at home, but I don't necessarily have to be on the computer, uh, at the computer, or anywhere. Usually anywhere means it's something that, that I, I don't need anything for, I don't need any technology, or it's something I can do on my phone, because I bring my phone with me pretty much everywhere. So. Uh, it's good to organize these because then wherever you are, you can choose what tasks to do based on uh, where you are. Okay, so let's go back to that project. And then NA is short for next action. So there's two different, well, there's three different things you could have here. You could have, you could have a specific date and time or a specific date. Like you say, um, I can do this starting on Friday and then I put a specific date in there. Or you can say, I have to wait for somebody in order to be able to do this. Like if somebody else has to, has to send me a file before I can edit that file, for example, then I put hashtag wait. And then I can look at all of the things that have those hashtags. So if I go to tag NA, for example, uh, this is the list of all the stuff that I can get done right now. I don't have to wait for anything. Or if I hit wait, these are the things that either I need somebody to do something before I can get it done, or it's what exactly what I'm waiting for. So if somebody tells me they're going to send me a file, then I put, uh, I put a note in waiting, saying that I'm waiting for this person to send me a file. So whenever I go over my wait list, I can say, oh yeah, that's right, I'm waiting for this file. Did this person send it? Do I have to follow up, etc. Now, a lot of the things you're going to do are going to be organized into projects. So, if you want to figure out uh, what you need to do for your project, then um, going into these projects is a great way to do it. You can also put ideas for the projects, right? Like, they don't have to be super specific. And then not everything is going to fit neatly into a project. So, for example, let's say that uh, I need to buy my sister a birthday card. Right? I'm not going to make a separate project for buy my sister a birthday card. It wouldn't make much sense. So I have this other thing called daily where um, I just put everything that, that doesn't really make sense to give its own project. I just dump into daily, which is kind of like its own project folder. Okay, now like I said, normally I keep it on the today screen because today shows me exactly what it is that I need to get done today. And if I have a new idea, 
there's a specific way to put ideas into this system, and it's kind of a two-step process. The first is that if you have an idea, or you remember something that you need to do, like, oh, I just remembered I have to buy a birthday card for my sister, uh, I'll go ahead and write that in. Buy a birthday card for Katie. That's my sister. Uh, and uh, I'll just hit enter, right? And then it'll show up on, under today. It won't have any tags. Uh, it won't be, won't be specific to any project. You know, I, I have to figure that out later. It'll go into this inbox folder automatically. And because I've typed it into today, it automatically sets the due date as today. So that's the first step because you don't want to put a whole bunch of encumbrances on yourself when you're putting in a new idea or a new responsibility, you just want to get it in there as quickly as you possibly can. So the first step is just put it in. And then the second step, uh, sometime later, is you go through everything in your inbox and you figure out, okay, um, what should I do with that thing? And I'll tell you a little bit about that later on. That'll be in the weekly review system. But generally, if you have an idea, then get it done quickly, get, get, it, get it entered quickly, that is. Now, at the beginning of every day, and actually like throughout every day, this is, this is my daily planner right here. I go through everything that I'm supposed to do for the day, and um, I, I will I read through everything first, and I, I do two things. One thing is that I, I have some things in here that are just reminders. There's something that I want to get myself in the habit, I want to be cognizant of on a daily basis. So for example, this one, I say, I, I want to feel important. That's a reminder to me to, that everybody wants to feel important and that if I want to have good relationships with people, then I should do my best to make other people feel important. So that's just a reminder to me. I have that set to every day just because I want to see that every day just to remind myself. So once I see it, I go hit the check mark, which means that it's done and then I'll see it again tomorrow. And then, uh, let's see, this is another one. Whenever I have to wait for something, tune into the energy of my future. If you watch that video about becoming supernatural, that's what that's about. Anyway, so one awesome principle that I learned is that whenever you go through this, as soon as you find something that you can get done in five minutes or less, don't plan around it, just do it. So for example, this one, review LinkedIn. So. Reviewing LinkedIn means I open LinkedIn.com, uh, I look at my notifications, I look at my messages, I look at my friend requests. Probably it takes me two minutes, right? So that's something that if I see that, I'll just do it, right? I'm not going to plan that for later. Uh, I'm just going to do it immediately and then I'm going to check it off the list. Okay, now the next thing that I want to show you is called the Someday Maybe list that I have over here. These are the things that you know that you can't get to right now, you don't have the time, or you don't have the money, or you're not in the right place, or whatever it is, but you think you would like to at some time, perhaps in the future. So, for example, I put LASIK surgery on there because my eyesight is terrible and I wear contact lenses every day, and uh, one of these days it would be kind of nice to be able to see better without having contact lenses. So, uh, I don't really want to do that right now because I haven't researched it, it's not really a high priority, but I thought about it, so I put it on there. And then um, some other things, like uh, some, um, like a book that I want to write, for example. Uh, I came up with an idea for a book that I want to write. Well, writing a book is a big project, right? That's a big commitment, and I don't have the time to do it right now, so it goes on my someday maybe list. And then I also have a projects list here, which is just Every project that I have, uh, I have listed on my projects list. Now, the thing that ties this all together is called the weekly review. And this is something that I have set on for Friday afternoon. Or I, I have set on every Friday. I have a notification for every Friday to do this weekly review. And in practice, I don't actually do it on Friday. Usually I do it on Monday. But what you want to do is kind of go over everything you did for the week and kind of plan out the next week. And, and kind of organize everything that's in your, your system here. So I'm going to go through that one by one, show you how that works. So the first is collect loose papers and materials. So if you have physical stuff, which I almost never do, like if you have mail that you have to get to, like maybe you got a, got a bill in the mail that you have to pay, you collect that and put it into a tray, which um, you know I, I didn't talk about in this video because it's really not that important. But then uh, next step is to process everything in inboxes. So that is go through your your email, you go through your physical mail, uh, 
go through your voicemail, etc. Find anything that needs to be done. So if you if you have an email that requires maybe somebody emailed you a video that you really want to watch but you haven't gotten time for it, will you go and write in an entry saying watch video uh, and maybe you put the link from the email like you copied the link. You can do that, right? You can when you add a task, you can put a link in there so uh, you have it easily. Or maybe it's the inbox here. So if you go to this inbox, and remember I put I have to buy a birthday card for my sister, right? Which I don't actually have to. Her birthday was last month, but uh, I guess that's why I had it on my mind. So I want to process this because I just put it in hastily, right? I just put buy a birthday card for Katie. That's all. I didn't I didn't think about like where to organize it, what project to put it in, etc. So what I want to do uh, is I want to. Well, I want to put the due date, um, so I'll leave it as today's date if it's something that I want to be available, to, if I want to be cognizant of today. Like if it's something that I think I might get to today, then I'll, I'll leave it as today. And then uh, there's no repeat, right? List will be, uh, list will be daily. Actually, I'll get to that last because it'll take it out of the inbox. Tags, um, buy a birthday card would be an errand, right? So I'll put errand. And then NA is next action. I don't have to wait for anything, right? I don't have to wait for anybody to send me anything in order to buy a birthday card. I can just go and do it. So I'll put NA for next action. So, and then the, the list I'll put daily, right? Because it doesn't really belong in a project. So I'll put it in daily. Okay, so that's, that's that. I processed that. And I'll also, if you have something that's non-specific, uh, you want to come up with a specific step. So you have an idea for a project, for example, and you write it in your inbox. Well, then you want to go over to lists and create a new list and create a new project and then write out all the steps in those projects. You want to make it so that you have something to do. So when you're in reactive mode, you can just look at this next action and you can just do it. You don't really have to think about it. You don't have to strategize. Uh, you just go into your, go into your project for um, whatever here and say, okay, I want to create a video script for my four level pyramid to use as lead magnet for local businesses. I know exactly what that means and I can just go do that at, at any time, right? I don't have to think about the overall strategy. I can just do that step right now. Even if my brain is like half asleep, I can do that. So that's the part about processing everything in inboxes. Next is to empty your head, process any ideas not written. So if you have ideas that you haven't written into this system, then you go put them now. One place that you can get those is from your workbook where your million dollar ideas, right? Chances are your million dollar ideas aren't exactly divided into steps yet, right? They're just kind of an idea for projects. So maybe you make a new project and maybe you you put four different steps into that project, right? That's what that's about. So, or if you have ideas that are in your head that you just haven't put on into the system yet, you just write them in. Next is to review the next action list. So you can go, well, there are two ways to do this. Um, you can go through all your projects and just see, um, see what it is that you need to do next. Or you can go to this NA and, and just see uh, all the stuff that you have you have going on now. So go back to weekly review. So uh, the idea of this, by the way, is that one, you're kind of planning for next week, right? So you're seeing all these actions that you need to do at some time. Well, figure out which ones that you want to do next week. And the way that I do that is that I will I will put them. I will schedule them for Monday. So if I want to get them done next week, I'm not sure exactly what time next week. I'll go through and I'll put the date as Monday. So it'll come up on my daily on Monday. Next part is to review the past two weeks of calendar dates and review the upcoming calendar dates. So that's something that I do in my phone. I just look at my phone calendar. I see, okay, what did I do over the last two weeks? What am I going to do uh, over the next two weeks? And that's, again, it's something that it's just to, to kind of get your thoughts going and to, to recognize where you have other things you have to do. So maybe you had a meeting with somebody last Friday and you had some deliverable from that meeting and you forgot to put it in the system, right? Well, now you know, now you probably reminded yourself because you saw the notification for that meeting from last week. And then same thing with the upcoming calendar dates. Next is to review your waiting for list. That's you go down here and go into wait. And so uh, if I have to go uh, see, okay, like I didn't get that postcard. Why didn't I get that postcard, right? Um, 
it's reminding myself of that. So, or if it's something that did happen, or maybe I did get the postcard, then I can just check that off because I already did. And then I can figure out, okay, now that I got the postcard, what's the next step? And then I write in the next step. Okay, now the review the projects list, that's just a list where you keep all of the projects that you're working for at the moment. Pretty simple. Um, maybe you have a project that you were working on, but it's just not important to you anymore, then, then you want to delete it. By the way, if you, if you have anything that's, your, that's just you're not uh, worried about anymore, that you don't want to get done anymore, delete it as soon as you can because it's just clutter that, that you don't need to worry about anymore. And then the last step is to review your someday maybe list. So we go into here and figure out the things that you want to maybe do someday. And you figure out, okay, well, is that someday today? Is this something that I could get going now? And so that's it for the weekly review. Now, last thing I want to show you is at the end of the end of every day, right? As you're going throughout the day, uh, you should be checking some of these things off. So if I review my LinkedIn, for example, I'll check this off and it'll show as completed and it won't come back until next Tuesday. And then chances are you're not going to get everything done, at least the way that I do it. Um, let's say I bought my birthday card for Katie. I'm going to check that off. But anyway, so let's say that I, I didn't do this one today. I, it's the end of the workday. Uh, I didn't get this done. I'm going to go to this plus and I'm going to postpone it to tomorrow. And then I'm going to go through everything. So I'll postpone till tomorrow or maybe I already did it, right? So maybe I, I published my YouTube video. I'm going to hit check because I already did it. And so basically at the end of the day, I want this thing to be empty. And then, um, and then I'm going to go over to my, my workbook over here and I'm going to put my million dollar ideas, my three greatest successes, what I desire to get tomorrow. This is going to be empty. Uh, my workbook will be filled out and I will be officially have closure for that day. So if this all makes sense, please do me a huge favor and let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you got some particularly helpful tips from this and hit the little thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about why this is so successful, why this kind of system is so necessary, I recommend that you check out this video all about how to be proactive instead of reactive.